Let's look at this study on progesterone in frozen embryo transfers. Why does it matter? Well, the question is, what is the best way to give progesterone for women in a frozen embryo transfer cycle? And why does it matter? Now, one of the things is that women's natural hormones are suppressed and providing progesterone through medications helps to keep the progesterone levels high and supports pregnancy. What are the options? Intramuscular progesterone, which is deep intramuscular, and vaginal progesterones, which are suppositories. Now, both of these have been compared. Subcutaneous progesterones have not been compared. Key findings were that intramuscular remains a gold standard because they provide a high steady hormone levels throughout the body, deliver the best live birth rates, and it is important that we have a sustained high progesterone levels. Vaginal progesterone creates a high local environment in the air, but insufficient levels in the bloodstream, and this can lead to more miscarriage and fewer live births. The high level of blood progesterone is essential for immune tolerance and pregnancy success. Now, while I am or intramuscular progesterone is uh, less comfort comfortable, they currently offer the best chance of pregnancy. What we do not know is do subcutaneous injections match the same chance of pregnancy because that has not been studied. If you look at the general evidence, it suggests that vaginal progesterone may be sufficient for a large number of cases, but for some women, having a higher progesterone level is useful. This is again just one study which was done. So there are multiple studies which have looked on the role of progesterone, but keeping high progesterone levels in a certain group of scientists believe that is probably the best way of achieving high success rates.